Good afternoon. My name is Oscar Vierhoek. I'm the founder of The Coding Universe. And in this video, I will be introducing you to a brand new series. Because starting today, I will begin a new series called Pac-Man LWJGL. So before you start worrying, this is not going to replace the LWJGL tutorial series or the Beginner's Open Gel series. No, this is going to be entirely different from both of those. In this series, I will cover programming Pac-Man in Java using LWJGL from start to finish. I will give a holistic approach as opposed to the component-based approach that you saw in LWJGL tutorials. And this series will focus more on the game development aspect of programming. Now, I think this series is going to be an effective walkthrough for all programmers. So for the people who have just started watching my videos, for the beginners, this is going to be a unique chance to see how you can set up your own project and how you can learn LWJGL and stuff like that. And for more advanced programmers, uh, they can view this series as um, a way of incorporating their already existing knowledge of LWJGL into a project. So I can roughly break this series down into four parts. The first part, game system, is the part in which I will cover how you can set up your game architecture and how you can combine graphics with logic and data. The second part, world loading, will cover how you can use file input and output to load a world file and to load properties into your program. Now the third part, graphics, well obviously, it will cover how you can draw Pac-Man, how you can draw the animations, load the textures, and those sorts of things. And the last, the last uh, component, logic, will teach you how you can do things like time management, um, collisions, uh, score keeping, those sorts of things. So we'll start with uh, game system. Now this is, I think, the most important part of this new series, because in this part you'll learn how you can efficiently separate different portions of code and this method uh, is efficient and scale proof so that the architecture type that I'll teach you, you can not only use that for small games such as Pac-Man uh, but also for larger uh, maybe three-dimensional three games. Now another thing that I'm going to be doing in game system is I will be using a logging system. So this is really a more professional way of looking at programming. Okay, so the second part, world loading. You can see on the right here that's, a, uh, that's an input file that we'll be using for Pac-Man. And I'll teach you how you can pass these text files and how you can then load world data into the program. I'll also teach you how you can load properties into the program, such as the window title and the window width and height and other user preferences. In the third part, I would say uh, another really important part of this series, I will teach you how you can use LWJGL and OpenGL to draw the graphics that uh, you can find in Pac-Man. So this is really for those of you who haven't really done much with LWJGL yet. Uh, so if, if you know more about LWJGL, then you don't need to watch this part. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll teach you how you can create your own coordinate system. I'll teach you how you can load textures, how you can load text, and how you can draw those textures and text uh, into different shapes. Now the last step, the logic step, will teach you how you can go about collision detection, uh, time management, so um, you have a, a tick based system, how you can go about scorekeeping, so when is the player won, how many lives do, does he have, and those sorts of things, and how you can go about artificial intelligence. So how do you determine where the enemies are moving? That's a, an interesting problem. 
that I'm going to solve in my series. Now that's all I have to say for the introductory video of Pac-Man in LWJGL. Now please do tell me what you think of this new series in the comments. So do you like it or do you maybe just want me to go back to the LWJGL tutorials? Um, maybe you think this is unnecessary. Anyway, I'd love to hear your, uh, your feedback on this and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But for now, 